You're in Newcastle today talking about housing and as I just mentioned before we've got record immigration. The number of net permanent and long-term arrivals has hit another record in February. Look, David Littleproud, nobody ever voted for a big Australia, yet here we are. Yeah, you're going to get one and a half million new Australians to come into this country. That's a city the size of Adelaide. And we've got nowhere to put them, let alone places for our fellow Australians that are already here. And I was out at a new housing estate talking to one of the biggest builders in the country. Uh, and he was telling me that, unfortunately, we're bringing in all these one and a half million people. But the skill sets that they require to actually build housing, not only for them, but for the Australians that are already here, aren't even on the skills list. He's looking for roofers, he's looking for tilers, plasterers, plumbers and electricians. And yet the government has excluded them from the skills list, a skills list that is necessary for us to make sure Australians can have that Australian dream. And young Australians have lost hope. They've lost hope of ever owning a home because we've had state and local government fail in their planning responsibilities over more than a decade. But we've had a federal government now that's exacerbating it by bringing in a city the size of Adelaide. Common sense tells you to pull up and we are about to give the greatest gift we can give to any person around the world is a ticket to Australia. So why wouldn't we pick and choose the skills that we want and particularly help us solve our problems for, for the next generation to have the dream that you and I have at the moment, which is own a home. Uh, that's mm. common sense. That's what the Nationals are saying to, to this government. And unfortunately, again, Claire O'Neill and Adam Giles uh, aren't interested in their portfolios. They want the, the human touch portfolios, the soft human touch portfolios. They're not interested in making the tough decisions. Uh, but the Prime Minister should be prepared to make the tough decisions and he should be prepared to move them on because Australians are not only not feeling safe, but they also aren't getting a fair go uh, when it comes to housing. Yeah, absolutely spot on, David Littleproud. We're almost out of time, but I want to ask you about the supermarkets because we saw Green Senator Nick McKim put on quite the show yesterday while grilling the Woolies boss at a Senate inquiry into supermarkets. Now, look, I, I, I'm not a, a huge fan of Brad Banducci, but seriously, Nick McKim, in my opinion, was really out to big note himself yesterday. What do you think? Yeah, a bit of theatre there, but the fundamentals are the same as what the Nationals have been saying for a long time, is these supermarkets are using their market dominance and power, not only on the primary producer, but also on the consumer. Uh, we've said for a long time, we just want fair, transparent prices from the farm gate to your plate. Uh, and proudly, uh, the Nationals are now working with the Liberals about stronger competition policy. Uh, and I gave the government an option to join forces over 12 months ago. They said there wasn't any cost of living crisis, the supermarkets weren't an issue. The evidence is clear. They've been, they've been touching us up with prices uh, where prices at the farm gate have gone down, but having at the checkout, something had to be done. And this government's been asleep at the wheel. They wasted a third of their term on a voice, on a $450 million voice that no one in this country wanted uh, while, while letting all these issues slip away from them. They've been asleep at the wheel, they've been out of touch and they are still out of touch in not addressing the issues that real Australians are facing every day. They're making real decisions at the, at the supermarket every day. We've got families going without meals because they're having to put fresh produce back up on the shelf. That's not a country that I want to be part of if I can't change it. And I've got to say, we can change this, but it's going to take political courage and leadership. And I think that the coalition is going to show that in the coming weeks. Yeah, absolutely. It's really tough out there. David Littleproud, good to speak with you. Thank you so much for joining us.